Hey beautiful people, how's it going? Caitlin here in Zone 9B, Central Florida. It is a beautiful day outside, nice and windy. And uh, Jane and I are out here working in the yard. Just wanted to give you guys a helpful tip on how to turn your compost material into viable soil where you can use it for like uh, starting your seedlings or putting it in wood, uh, like raised beds or just repositioning it to where it's finer. A finer composition for whatever your project is. It's really windy out here, so it's really windy out here. Um, but I'm going to reposition the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to show you my really cheap hack with it's literally the easiest thing ever, and it saves you so much time and money from buying compost. And yours is probably more viable and better than what money can buy. So um, I'm going to show you how I do that. Just stick around, hang with me. Let me adjust my. Uh, camera and get that station <laughs> all right guys so I have you out here you're actually on the ground floor of one of our um, uh, decomposed um, wood chip beds so this is literally what I do whenever I have to start seedlings whenever I have to get soil for raised beds and like I said right now we're working on putting in probably oh my gosh probably about a quarter acre of raised beds. We're gonna frame them out with oh, trees that we've cut down on our property that we've been given from the FDOT oh. and whatnot. Oh. So that's the project we're working on. This is just a way of how we take our, our wood chips. Hold on, I need that, Judy. Um, how we take our wood chips and the decomposed materials and separate it out. This is literally a dollar at Dollar Tree. This is a wire, uh, a wire uh, garbage basket. And all I do is I have, I think this is a five gallon. So, so what I do is I literally just take up, ooh, look at that big roach. Big roach. You take your soil into the trash can, super, super simple. Again, everything's gonna fall through that you need. And sometimes the bigger pieces go through too, but it doesn't really matter. It's not, it's not so much that you have to worry about it. So then after we have that, we literally just shake out the finer amendments. Jaden, 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 thank you. The finer amendments, like this. And then you can either throw this back into your pile to be, uh, to continue to decompose. What I like to do, because most of these, most of the time this is so rich with moisture and you have all your fungal content in it already, um, what I like to do is I like to put this um, aside to put on top of the beds once everything's planted. So once you get, whether you're direct sowing or whether you're putting in your um, your implants or your 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 uh, seedlings, once you put them in the soil, instead of watering because you should have already watered the soil before you put those things in, I like to take these wet wood chips and put it right around the top. So. Then when they come up, they already have a framework around them, kind of secure, at least in my head. It's a little more secure for them. And then what it enables them to do is feed. It's gonna feed your plants and it's gonna retain the moisture so that it doesn't dry out as quickly, which is really imperative in Florida. It's one of our biggest problems, so. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all are enjoying quarantine as much as I am. Get out and get some sunshine. Have a great day.